Hey, good morning. It's Mike Schunke with Berkshire Hathaway Homes and Shift Home Properties in Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, happy Friday. Market Chat with Mike. Uh, let's see what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about residential. We're going to talk about commercial and the economy a little bit. Uh, let's see. Inventory in the multiple listing service. We're up 150 single family detached homes for sale in, multi in Maricopa County. We're up 79. But in Scottsdale, again, we're down three single family detached homes for sale. That's back to February numbers. So when you see this data and inventory up and the articles, the news articles, pay attention. What are they looking at? Overall price range, it varies price to price, price range. Uh, remember, real estate's hyper local, even from neighborhood to neighborhood, upper end, lower end. Uh, so really pay attention to what statistics you're looking at. Um, Let's see. So really that inventory, we're about 50, 60 percent of where we need to be to have a good market. We're about two and a half, three months of inventory available. Uh, should be about six months to have a normal market. So still, you know, it's funny. We're seeing prices. We're starting to see some price drops now in Scottsdale. We've got about till the end of the month, uh, really the end of June to excuse me. You know, we should, we'll have that summer slowdown, especially in the higher end. So houses that have been sitting on the market a while, we should start seeing some price drops uh, this week. Um, this week, next week, people that really want to sell or need to sell. If you find a property, make an offer. You know, we get, we make verbal offers. We get verbal offers all the time until it's on paper. Really doesn't mean much, but let's put it on paper. Let's see where we start. Are we, you know... Are we even in the ballpark? But let's have a conversation. If you're looking to buy or sell, see where we are. Uh, I had some numbers this week. Existing home sales nationwide was down 1.9% in April. New home sales was down 4.7%. Um, that was a little bit of a surprise, but builders just can't build properties fast enough. Uh, land's expensive, building's expensive. So, you know, we'll see... Uh, We'll see. And remember, we're comparing these data numbers that you see in the headlines, the attention grabbing headlines. Those are comparing to 21, 22. 2023 was the lowest sales hit ever uh, on the, in history. So remember, we're comparing those 21, 22 is hot. So just really look at the statistics, look in the, the details, what's being presented, or ask your ask your broker, ask your real estate agent, ask your mortgage guy, ask somebody who knows and sees it every day, somebody who's boots on the ground and looking at it in day in and day out. Uh, Logan Matsushimi, he's a real estate economist. I like him. You know, we don't always agree. I don't. We don't always agree. We'll just say that. But uh, he made a good point. You know, new new listings. There's been around thirty to 90,000 new listings nationwide per week. That needs to be about 250 to 4,000. So we're just, people are staying in their homes. They're in their rate. They have a low rate, three under 4%. They're, they're not going to move. And this inventory thing is not going to end anytime soon. So like I said, if you want to sell, sell. If you want to buy, buy. But uh, yeah, I've had a lot of conversations this week about valuations. People say that residential, commercial, and well, residential, commercial, and land. People say that property is not worth that on the belt, sell side and on the buy side. Well, a, an asset is is worth an asset is worth what a ready, willing, and able buyer is willing to pay for it, and the seller is le willing to sell it for. So, like Nvidia stock, Nvidia stock is a thousand dollars. Is it worth that? Obviously, it's worth that to somebody. Tesla stock. You know, a year ago, two years ago, when everybody was thinking, everybody was calling me, say they were going to retire on their Tesla stock because it was at 350. I saw it trade at uh, 170 something the other day, 177. So the valuation of an asset is worth what a buyer and seller are ready to make that exchange or make that transaction at. So someone says it's overvalued. It might not be worth that to you, but it's worth it to somebody. And that's what we're seeing actually in Scottsdale here. A lot of people coming from out of town, as I've said before. I met, some of you had seen we were up in the Northeast. We were up in Connecticut. And price is pretty similar. You know, you get a lot more land up there um, than in Scottsdale. 
But when you break it down to your monthly payment, you're $1,000 a month in taxes, and then you have insurances higher up there. So, you know, every, every deal is different. That's what we love about real estate, the residential, the commercial, and the economy. We work on the relationships. We want to get to know our clients, know who we're working with, and then we can do the best job for you. Uh, so we're just, we're big communicators. Um, we want to get to know you, know what you're looking for, know what your goals are, and it's our job to get you there. So uh, let's see, commercial, we've got um, that land still coming up. We're working on some price adjustments on that. We're looking at it. Uh, pick up a vacant build, you know, vac buy a vacant, vacant building, get a renter in there, and you increase the cap rate. It's funny on commercial, they're still adjusting the cap rates. Everybody, you know, 3%, 4% a few years ago was okay on a commercial property. Now you got to get 5 or 6%. Otherwise, an investor is just going to go out and buy a U.S. Treasury bond or what's Wells Fargo is paying 5.5% on a CD. So an investor really wants their return. But again, you know, the numbers, if you're an end user, you can pay a little bit more. Uh, but it just comes down to the numbers. It's our job to take the emotion out of real estate. Uh, we see the numbers every day. We run the numbers. On the commercial end, we are more, we've owned businesses and operated different businesses. So we like to sit down like with the dentist we're working with. What are your goals? What are you looking for? And how can we get your business to put more in your pocket at the end of the day and build that generational wealth for your family? So that's, that's kind of where we have a little advantage is looking at the numbers. And it's, you know, we're not here to sell you something. We're here to help you get what you want. Uh, the economy. I did want to mention there's a big land auction coming up next week up uh, northwest Phoenix. That'll be interesting. Economy. Notice there's a lot of revisions in this data numbers. Can you believe them? I don't know. We have an election year, but uh, what's the 10 years trading? About 4.5%. I think I 4.48 4 this morning. 30-year uh, fixed mortgage, 7.17. I think we're up a little bit again there. But uh, just hanging out around 7% there. Um, again, it all comes down to what do the numbers work for you? Do the numbers work as a buyer or a seller? And what do you need to do to become financially stable and financially independent to provide for your family and move forward? So it'll be interesting. Uh, you know, it's market's just kind of grinding through now. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's, not, it's a little bit slow right now. It's hard to get the sellers to realize what they have is not worth it's not a gold mine and you know buyers everybody's looking for a deal so it's our job to bring everybody together negotiate bring it out in the open and what number works what are you looking for and where can we get you where do you want to be so it's really just know your client that's that's why we sit down we have a conversation with our clients uh you'd be surprised at how much fraud is out there we get a lot of phone calls actually there's a piece of land real close by. It's on Zillow for sale. I spoke to the owners and they aren't selling it. So what you see online and internet these days is not always true. So actually those Zillow estimates everybody uses, that's been way off lately. So anyway, we're in the market every day in and out. So uh, we're here, boots on the ground and uh, we're here to help you get you where you need to be. So uh, anyway, uh, Memorial Day weekend, you know, Take a minute to remember those who served, lost their life or didn't make it and uh, served our country. So I get a little bit emotional with that. I have much respect for our military and those uh, who serve and protect our country and our daily lives. So um, take a moment to reflect on that, but enjoy. Have some good family time. You know, you know, we're big family first. We're meeting our daughters up at a show in Las Vegas this weekend. So... You know, um, but we're here. My phone's always in my pocket. I answer it 99% of the time. Give me a call. If we can help you buy or sell. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks and have a great weekend. Bye.